Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of G Star Cat Tips and Tricks. Today, I will actually be showing you how to customize your own hatch pattern using G Star Cat. So, first thing, we need to have a new drawing, and then in this new drawing, we'll be using the drawing tools available to sketch out the pattern that we need, and then convert this pattern into a block. And then later on, we'll use this block as the hatch, a pattern that we'll be using in the G Star Cat drawing. Okay. So first thing, I'll be using the drawing tools called rectangle, and then I'll be creating a square with a size of hundred by hundred. Okay. So once I have the square created, I need to rotate the square with an angle of forty-five angle. Right, so I'll just type in 45 here. And next, we need to go to the drawing tools ribbon and then look for this command called start end radius arc. And then for the start point, I'll be choosing here, end point will be here. And then the radius, I'll just type in 100. Okay, and then I'll repeat the command again. Start point will be the bottom side now end point will be the top side and then the radius will be 100 okay so i'll just keep repeating the same command to finish up the pattern okay one more okay so once i have the pattern that i want created inside this drawing I need to convert this to a block. So I will go to the insert tab and then over here locate the create block command. And then I'll give a name to the hatch. So I'll just type in hatch underscore A. And then for the base point, I will choose somewhere in the middle of this pattern. And then select all the object over here. And then I will um, actually delete away the object once I created the block. So OK over here. And then now I've already created that as a block. OK, now I need to create a rectangle with a size of 1000 by 1000. OK, so now I'm going to fill this uh, rectangle with a size of 1000 by 1000 with the pattern that I've already created just now. Right. So in order to do that, we need to use this tool here under the Express tab, which is called the Super Hatch command. So I'm going to click on that, and then this will bring out this menu. And then on this menu, you can use either the image block X reference or some other ways to create your customized pattern. So in this example, I'll be using block. So I'll just click on the block button. And then automatically they will be able to identify the block that I've created, which is, which is called hatch A. I'm going to click OK here. And then this is the pattern that I've created. So I'll just put somewhere inside the rectangle. And then they'll ask me for the X scale factor. I'll just type in 1 for the factor. Same for the Y scale factor, I'll type in 1. And then what's the rotate angle? I will put in 0. And then now they will ask me to point the first point of the um, pattern that I want to use. So I'll just choose the bottom left corner of this uh, block here as the first point. And then for the next point, I'll choose the diagonal top right corner of the block over here as the second point. Okay, after that, enter. And then now they ask you where you want to place the pattern. So I will just click anywhere within the big rectangle. Just click and then enter. And then you can see the hatch pattern will be filled inside the bigger rectangle. Right? So that's all for this edition of G Star Cat Tips and Tricks. Thanks for watching.